Okay, I'm going to look at a circular patterning exercise, the one that I sent to you guys. I'm going to go to sketch, XY plane, and I'm going to start with the two circles in the center. The dimension of the first circle is 21. The second circle is a diameter of 8. Okay, I'm zooming out to be able to draw the larger array. I can see there's two arcs 55 millimeters vertically away and then 80 millimeters vertically away. So I'm going to draw a, a line to help me to constrain these arcs from there to there. That will be the 55 millimeter. I'm pressing escape out of the, the line function and pressing enter again into the line function. So let's click on the tip and move forward upwards and press escape. So let's dimension these. Dimension here is 55. And I mentioned here yeah, is 80. Let's start to draw circle number one. Make so, sure it's in the center. We're having a radius D of 20. So I'm drawing a full circle. So you need to type in a diameter of 40. Unless you use center point arc where you will use half of it. Okay. <clears throat> there is another radius of 30 millimeters. Somewhere here I'm going to draw the circle. There's a circle. Somewhere here above 55 and in between 80. Let's say somewhere there. And I'm going to draw the circle. The dimension here is 62. The radius is 31. So the dimension is 62 for the diameter. If you use the center point arc, you will still use the radius. Here we got uh, 12. Beautiful. The height here is not specified. So I'm going to assume a height of, say, about 65. Okay, there we go. Now we need to tangent these two circles. The radius there is 45. So I'm going to make use of a center point arc. There we go, center point arc. I'm going to click anywhere and just move my cursor out to the outside. Click, move, and click. Make sure you do it long enough so that you your, cur your, your arc is long enough so that you don't have problems in trimming properly. So let's tangent. I'm going to put in the dimension of 45. That's the radius of 45. And at this moment on, I can start to trim. Trim. Taking away that part there. This part there. E, D, D. Right, we're trying to clean up this drawing. Um, let's try and get these horizontal tangents. These tangents, sorry. These straight line tangents. From there to that point. Right, I'm having a straight line. Escape out of the line function. And then enter. To be able to go to the side there. And there's another line. Let's just get this in perspective. I'm going to go to tangent again. I want this line to tangent that circle over there. I want this line to tangent this arc over there. And let's trim again. 
드럼 드럼 we are drumming all these away and that's my blade however the distance from there to there or the height from this point to that point there there's no heights given okay and there's no widths so the only logical explanation I can think to get this right because there is four of these blades these two points needs to be 90 degrees apart if I'm correct this one sits up a bit lower let me escape go to that point and drag it so that it can go a little bit lower and I'm gonna draw an angle there from this point to the center and then from that point back to the center and I'm gonna go to my dimension I'm clicking on this line and then I'm going to the next line and click so you ignore the dimension coming out of it you click don't worry about the, the dimension click on the next one and then move upwards it's 108 so we're looking for 90 90 enter well that there is 90 I know exactly this place for another four that will sit perfectly so what I'm going to do now I'm going to highlight and then circular pattern so I'm going into my circular my pattern in toolbar circular it's looking for geometry it's already blue so, so you must just select I'm clicking on left click and dragging over my lines that I want I can see only the, the, the top part has been selected so I'm selecting this one on the left that one on the right and I'm happy the next thing is to click on this little arrow and click on the point where it's going to revolve around or circular pattern around so that's my point I'm clicking on my point currently there's six blades popping up there's the explanation there we're looking for four so highlight the six and put in four and there we have four blades you can also change the axis from one side to the other look at the arrow every time when I click axis the arrow will change okay if it has to be patterned for 360 degrees like now it will be equally spaced but it also can be patterned for let's say 200 degrees or whichever you can see that as well for 200 degrees it will look like that but we're having a 360 degree example here and that's what we want okay okay that's a circular pattern I'm gonna go back again undo I'm clicking on circular I'm selecting my geometry highlight up till there select and select I'm going to choose my point here's my point of revolving to circular pattern around and I want four blades for 360 degrees okay now I'm going to extrude press E for extrude I'm going to extrude this part here is double now double extrude works very well for multiple extrusions that you will do after the assignment assignment first assignment so let's say we keep that is 10 and say okay now on your left hand side here you can see this is your navigation bar where you've done all your tasks so you've got extrusion number one if you click on the plus sign you also have your sketch that's your sketch that's your first extrusion right click on sketch and go down to share sketch now you can extrude anytime you want if you click E for extrude you'll be able to select anything else that you want to select okay I'm gonna make this double it's already on double and I'm gonna make the width of these blades five millimeters and you can see it's sitting nicely although it's not a perfect example of a fan but it looks like the shape of a fan we're busy with laminous so I'm gonna say okay and there we have the fan let's give it a color okay there we go and there we have it okay you can save it and I'm just gonna save it like that thank you very much